Welcome. In this video, I'm going to introduce tickets. Now, tickets are usually when you start working in IT, as an IT professional, ticket is an issue request or something that a user will uh, request to you to help them. Whether they are using some sort of application, so they will go to a portal and they will type that I need some help, X, Y, Z, or they may send you an email or they may even call you and then you will take that as a ticket or consider that whole scenario as a ticket. Mm -hmm. So when you're watching the chapters over here, we are going to start adding tickets. So then when you, let's say, for example, finish mobile operating systems, and in this video, you learn about mobile operating system and you uh, go to the lab and start playing around with it. But, you know, when we create tickets, you are going to get a little more uh, real world idea that if I go to a, a job right now, how people can call me related to operating systems or mobile operating systems. So we are going to pick specific chapters, not every chapter, specific ones that are important one, and we will create real world tickets. So what is the example? Let's say, for example, you finish mobile operating systems. Now, you know, in 15 minutes, you learn quite a bit. But here, let's go ahead and create some tickets on, on top of that chapter. So mobile operating system. Now, here we have a description for ticket one. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm using my work tablet and I would like to set up work email on this tablet. I need help with this tablet. And basically in your lab, this is called PLAB Android. Then she have two more tickets. That means she's requesting two more tickets. Now, in reality, it may not be three or two or four like that. It could be just one ticket with the first one and that's it. Now, keep in mind that when you go to a company, you're not only using Android, you could be using iPhone, different type of mobile devices. And most of our uh, processes to add an email, troubleshooting mo mobile operating systems are the same. So you have to do your own research when you go to the company and you find out that they're using iPhone. Are they using some sort of additional management device that they are managing their iPhones? And that's where you will start your research and learning. And in most cases, 90% of the time, company will have documentation and somebody will tell you in the first uh, or, or the first time, like, how do we do this specific thing? And then you just kind of like keep copying the same thing and you learn more about it. There's no way you can learn every single thing about any technology from any courses or any type of learning before you even get to the company. That's the reason we tell people that you don't need to spend extreme amount of time just to figure out smaller things because that is going to be a waste of time. So here, let's go ahead and just kind of cover some of the basics. And then once you're done with this, this will uh, be used as a project for you as well. You can talk about these tickets in the interview. And, uh, you know, when somebody asks you about, have you done something on the mobile mobile already system? You can talk about these things. Like you can say, I uh, worked on a lab where I resolved certain tickets and you can talk about these things. So let's go ahead and work on the first ticket where she is requesting us to set up an email on the tablet and that could be a mobile device as well which is android so let's go back to the lab systems we're going to go to our portal now you can always type and open a new uh, tab in a browser jobskillshare.org and then go to practice labs like that and inside your practice labs you're going to basically open 221102 lab you're going to go ahead and open that lab and then let's just open the first module because we just want to get to a devices well, keep in mind that we are doing something custom. So whenever we are doing something custom, it will not be supported by this support inside the lab system. You just have to follow 100% of my steps or you can play around with these labs, but you cannot reach out to the support by asking them that, hey, I'm stuck in this ticket because I'm, done, I'm doing something on these labs in a, in a very custom way. The, the things that are supported is on the left side, which is basically modules. And inside your modules, when you start over here, after chapters, we have modules right here. This is where you can go in and actually perform those step-by-step -step documented type of labs, and that will be supported. Any, anything that I'm showing you right now is not supported, so please do not reach out to the support asking them about tippets, tickets. They will not know anything about it. So we're going to have to remove this and only focus on PLAB Android right here. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. So as you can see, this is a mobile operating system. And here you can see that if I click here, we are going to get all the mobile type of applications. And in most companies, uh, basically when you are adding a email, it's gonna be under settings. 
or maybe they may have an icon over here on the left side where you can click on it but most likely it's going to be under settings so you just have to grab your mouse hold it and move up like that and now you see in every type of mobile operating system either they have control panel or settings so you just need to make sure you find that setting area and you will click on it now once you click on it you can scroll down and look for accounts in most of mobile operating systems have it name as accounts or email accounts so if you click on accounts here it will give you an option where you can add an account so you can click on add an account and then you will get different type of options that whatever system they're using it's going to give you outlook exchange pop 3 imap things like that so this is where you need to ask your company what type of system they're using so if they're using exchange you're going to click on exchange and you will type the username and the password of that user or ha have them type the user and the password and then you can guide them next uh, by step by step option so if i click on here it's going to ask me for that information it's going to go out there and it's going to start connecting to that so of course we're not going to do this because we don't have any email you can use your email and make sure to reset this lab so it's gone after that if you have like a dummy email you can try that but this is not designed for you to go further than that so if you can just finish it over here it's going to be done you have the email you give it to the user and that's it the user have the emails and maybe after that they may say can you help me with the calendar of course when you add this email calendars will also be synced and in some devices you may have to go to a specific calendar application and set it up for them now another common question a user may ask you about installing something on applications so sometimes they may call you like hey i want to get this application so depending on is this the play store or ios have its own stores and other type of mobile devices may have their own store so you need to go to that specific store so in this case we have play store and she's complaining that my play store is actually crashing so i i also try to install outlook app from play store but it's crashing i will need some help for uh, with the troubleshooting so here you can come back and you can see it requires a sign on we don't need that but most of the uh, mobile devices uh, again you need to go back to the settings area where you can find applications when you go to the settings you see there's apps uh, and notification uh, settings right here so when you click on it you get everything over here so if i click on the play store google play store it's giving this all information right here so of course this is where then you can do some sort of troubleshooting like for example in most cases you click on storage and you do clear storage click ok and clear cache sometimes and then restart the, the system usually that works sometimes they may uh, ask you to uninstall it so some applications are pre-built and will not let you uninstall that but some application does allow you that so you just need to uninstall it reinstall it back and then in some cases they may ask you more things like my application can access specific uh, feature so remember setting has everything so there's a main setting in operating system mobile operating system and then there's a specific application setting so when you go in there you get to see notification permission storage data usage and many more things that will lead you towards that troubleshooting and at the last piece of course you need to go to google and find out what is the latest solution because you know mobile operating mobile operating system cloud systems they changes all the time so you do need to uh, make sure that you use a proper documentation and that is your friend google you need to go out there find the per, find the right documentation and then proceed with those steps uh, on that systems and let's talk about the last common ticket which is basically browser based so you remember browser is not just about operating system or mobile operating system browser in itself requires you to understand its own settings so just like we just showed you one is that you go into a, a, a settings of a mobile operating system and you add something then you have an application where you uh, basically go in and then kind of do things uh, clear cache and things like that even for the browser you will be doing the same thing uh, as I showed you for Play Store. But then inside a browser, it's a different thing. You see, it says right here, I have a Chrome browser, which is currently search searching using Google. However, I would like to change it from Google to Bing. Now, she's not actually asking for you to, to troubleshoot inside the operating system. It's actually in settings inside the browser. So keep uh, looking at the ticket and, and make sure you are doing the right things because right now we're not talking about settings here. We're actually talking about the browser itself. So if you click on the browser in the operating system or mobile operating system, 
and you open the, the Chrome browser. So right now I see I clicked on the Chrome browser, but it's not coming up. So let's see what's going on here. It is actually up, but it says new tab right here. So let's see if that is what. Yeah, there you go. I think it was just like gray uh, section there. So you saw how I like I need to click on these three dots and then open it. So here you go. We got this Chrome open right now. But where do I need to go? I need to go here and then basically go to the settings of the Chrome browser now. Keep in mind, you see, we went to mobile operating systems and we have to do things. Then we went to application and it's, it has its own settings. And then it has a browser is, a, is another application. Once it's open up, then it has its own settings. So this is what I'm trying to actually focus in this video is that settings are always specific to what you are trying to do in these things. So make sure you look at the ticket and then proceed to that specific setting. So once you open the settings, you can see that on the top right here, we have search engine available. And if, if of course, if you can't find it in your specific devices, you need to search it. Uh, and if you can't find it through the search over here, you need to Google it and find it in your own device. Where can you find this type of information specifically to your device? So here I can come over here and change to the Bing. And then probably I can just scroll down and usually this have like a place to save it but maybe it just automatically saves it oh it does i thought there's like a save button so there you go just clicked on that and that's it it's now using bing for searching so if i come over here and search for let's say job skill share you see how it's going out to the bing for searching so you already resolved that ticket now other things you can learn is that maybe you should get some sort of old mobile, mobile operating device and try to reset it, play around with it. And then if you want to do it that way, um, or if you have your own mobile device, you could try that if you don't have anything very, uh, you know, important going on in that, and then you can always bring it back. So, but when you're working with the user, make sure to give them warnings that if I have to reset, there's a possibility that it may not work and your emails will be saved because it's coming from the server. Uh, but do know that if you have something on this device and you want me to fix it, but it seems like it's hung or stuck and I really need to do a reset on it to make it work, then there's a possibility that you may lose some work from that specific device. So that warning is very important because a lot of people, uh, you know, they may be happy to give you the device, but when you do something and if something goes wrong, and uh, even if you fix it and if you, they lose their work or pictures or things like that, then that becomes a part of your stress uh, on your end and that they will try to blame it on you so make sure you cover yourself in that area rest we will move on to different chapters different tickets